got, friends? Hello, our friends. I've got something really special to share today. What have you got for us? So these are watercolours actually from my childhood. Whoa. I used to paint with these when I was a kid. Seriously? How old are they? They must be about 15 years old. Whoa! Come and have a little peek at them. Who, who makes these? Uh, these are Diddle and these are like mice. I used to be obsessed with these. Oh, they look so cute. Have you guys ever heard of Diddles? Because I had relatives over in Germany and it looks like one of them got me this when I was staying over. It's so cute looking. So, have they, like, not, like, completely right away in all this time? Do they... Let's find out! Let's Don't you know? Guys, I'll put up a poll up there, too. Let me know if you've ever heard of diddles before, because before Steph told me about them, I didn't even know these existed. Oh, oh, it's up, and are you ready to see the state that this is gonna <laughs> is be Is there in? loads of bats gonna come out of it? Oh, wow! You know, that actually looks way better than I thought it would. <laughs> I like how it's still got all my childhood paint on that bit. <laughs> I don't want to wash it off, it's too special. Oh, we can work on something else. What's that? I think this must have been like a white gouache that it came with. I bet that's yeah, dead. <laughs> that's probably pretty dead. Should we have a look? <laughs> oh no, it's like sealed shut. Is it shut? glued yeah. like glued shut? I don't think it wants to open. It ain't gonna happen. Oh, it's so interesting to see. I wanna see. There's like... Loads of leftover paintbrush hairs that must be from this stuck in the palette. In the actual paints itself, whoa. So that was either a really badly made brush, or I was pretty bad at looking after brushes. You were, you were really aggressive with the poor paintbrush. <laughs> yeah, have you seen how many hairs have come out, like in that purple? Oh yeah, oh wow. <laughs> you didn't like purple much back then, did you? It's fascinating as well because there's like a little pit in the blue, like a really dip. Oh pit. yeah, I see. And that tends to be one of my most used colours, even in my watercolours today. What is the plan? What are we doing with these okay. ancient paints? Well, I thought since I'm doing something with my childhood paints, I should draw something that I used to like drawing as a kid. Okay, what's that? I used to really like drawing like hamsters and mice and stuff, so I'll probably do... You're gonna draw a mouse? mouse or something. Oh, okay, cool. What are you gonna do? I'll probably just make it up as I go along. Oh, and can't you do something that you used to like drawing as a kid? Well, I didn't really draw as a kid, did I? <laughs> you once drew a Pikachu when you were a kid. Ugh. Well, I didn't draw him, he was made out of wood. <laughs> I carved him with my own two hands. No, you painted a Pikachu. Yeah, but he was carved. He, I actually made him out of wood and painted him yellow. I'm sure it was a painting. It's not. I seriously, I can. I, it's not. It's not in the house. I can find it, but it's a carving. It's made out of wood. It's not though. No. So let's get out some watercolor paper, and I'll cut it in half again, as we tend to do. Also, guys, have you noticed? <laughs> I was waiting. It's actually got paint swatches on it's it. It's a swatch shirt. Isn't this incredible? Look at all those different colors that it has. I've been saving it for a watercolor video. <laughs> But now I can wear it all You the were time. so excited, like, oh, I cannot wait for a painting video. <laughs> this is like the perfect shirt for me. It's got swatches on it. Yeah, it's a, probably the only swatch I can deal with because it looks cute. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to grab these scissors and cut this bit. Oh, I can't wait for the perfect cut in half. No, don't put pressure on it to be perfect. <laughs> it won't be. Okay, guys, comment, comment no, down below don't comment. really quick. Will she cut it perfectly in half, yes or no? <laughs> Badly, I cut paper. Your track record isn't great with this kind of thing. Okay, now put them together. <laughs> that one, you know, it's not, but for you, that's not too bad. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Who gets the bigger sheet? Ah, <laughs> uh, because it's your paints, I think you should. Like, Give me that paper. That means I can draw a really big hamster. A really big. <laughs> can you draw a fat hamster? <laughs> Everybody loves Fat Hamster. That was a character I also created when I was little. I think I can relate to Fat Hamster on a spiritual level. So what's cooking in the art kitchen, Mama? I'm very, very excited right now because I'm drawing a little... <laughs> Is it Surrey. going well? Yeah, it's a little Syrian hamster. And I want to have him with an apple. Oh! I have no idea if hamsters are allowed to eat apples, but you can be inspecting it. I can't get the internet to load. <laughs> I finally get the internet to load. Well and it's loaded me Apple logos as in, like, Apple Max. <laughs> <laughs> Let me write Apple Fruit. What kind of a world do we live in where when you search Apple on Google Images, you get, like, Apple logos? Oh, you logos? have to do the name, like, a Granny Smith Apple, or... <laughs> that's probably the only Apple that I know. <laughs> Red Ladies, that's another one. Red Apple. <laughs> oh. Let's give it a big, juicy leaf. 
And what's he gonna what? What's he doing to the apple? Is he just eating it? No, he's just having a little look. So he's just caressing the apple. <laughs> I've never seen an apple so beautiful. I have no idea what the colours of these pants are going to be like. That that's actually part of the fun, right? Considering I, you haven't used them. It's still going to work. It's been fifteen years. And we don't actually know how these were stored. Who oh, no. knows? Box for a long time. I hope the yellow's good because if I've got to do a friggin' Pikachu, the Why yellow's. Why are you doing Pikachu? I didn't realise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's have a see. He kind of masks my expression at having to do a Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> do you like him? <laughs> I've never seen Pikachu look so middle-aged and angry. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu, the later years. Wow, that was an opportunity to do a very cute art piece. <laughs> Electrocute your own problems. You're shaking around the water brush there. <laughs> it's my special technique. <laughs> okay. Get ready for a professional demonstration. Also, you're going to be the first one to use my childhood pens. <laughs> yeah. Suck it up. So what you do, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to know what this is. But it's a wet water brush with water inside and you can... Oh, I think it's lifting the pigment. That's a good sign. I think it's working. But yeah, it just lifts up the colour. <laughs> the yellow's in a bit of a dirty condition. I know, right? What did you do? <laughs> you can blame like eight-year-old me or whatever for that. <laughs> I'm drawing like a really old knackered Pikachu anyway, so... But... Oh, look! Oh, it's painting! This is so exciting! It's working! And that yellow isn't as manky as I was expecting you know, it to that, be. That is quite a, um, a true... Pikachu yellow. I wonder if while I'm using this, if it's going to bring back like loads of childhood memories. <laughs> you start having flashbacks like... <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> so many art flashbacks. Gonna... Oh wait, I think I am getting a flashback. <laughs> it's happening. I do remember digging a hole in that blue because I used to use it for skies. Oh, that now that would make sense. And I had to yeah. cover a lot of ground with those skies. <laughs> and use a lot of paint bristles. <laughs> it looks like you just yank some out and... <laughs> I'm not too sure how I'm going to avoid doing his Pika cheeks. Pika cheeks? <laughs> Maybe I should work on the body and come back to that. <laughs> it might dry with a stripe for his head though. <laughs> <laughs> it could just be a really heavy brow. <clears throat> Get your own Pokemon Ash. I'm old. <laughs> I like how we've been using watercolours on this channel now, so I've on and off here and there for about two years. <laughs> yeah. And you're still clueless to how they work. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of doing today, I don't use work colours at all. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not even gonna get it. I even bought you some for your birthday. I know, I really should. <laughs> yeah, I should should've... use those. Yeah, you are right, I should use those. In hindsight, maybe it was a sucky present on my oh, no, don't say No. No, no, no. It's not a sucky present at all. I just got you them because they were all colour named. So if you wanted yeah. to use them, you could. Well, guys. If you want us to do a video on my watercolours, <laughs> let us know. I can see what you mean, yeah, his, his like chin's really yellow and his face is kind of washed out. It's like, eh. Watercolours are a bit more forgiving than like markers when you leave something and come back to it. Markers can leave you with quite a few streaks. And try and blend him out a little bit. There we go. <laughs> now there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're thinking with watercolours. <laughs> That should be the name of your series. <laughs> Thinking with watercolours. Step one, this is hard. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh my god, I'd love for you to have a watercolour series on YouTube. <laughs> People are gonna want that and it's not gonna be good. <laughs> Feel free to not comment down below that you would like a watercolour <laughs> by me. I think it would be inspiring. <laughs> It'd be something. <laughs> okay, now you're up. I want you to I want you to use these. Okay. Does my shirt look good with this palette in shot? It makes me think of watercolour. <laughs> Fantastic. Wouldn't that be cool, right, if it was a shirt? Right, you know, I know you guys have been talking about this quite a lot, the papers that can activate uh, watercolours. What if you had a shirt that could activate it? Oh my god, that, that would, would be, be amazing. awesome. Like if I could just activate it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go, guys. If any of you are, like, super clever inventors, invent that for us. Yeah, I mean, even if you're, like, seven and listening to this, Remember the idea, <laughs> go for your GCSEs, invent some <laughs> What are you doing like with your life? You're seven and you haven't invented the watercolour <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Welcome to Doodle Late, where you question what you're doing with your life. <laughs> so you did go with a red apple eventually. Yeah, red apple. Red apple. As it's affectionately been named. Have any of you guys in the comments ever had a hamster? And if you have, what did you call it? I love the names of hamsters. Oh, like 
Mittens. <laughs> no one's had a hamster called Mittens. That's really? just your go-to name for pets. <laughs> Cats especially. Mittens. Yeah, it's definitely more of a cat name than it is a hamster one. I'd call a hamster like, it begin with a H, like Harry. Oh. Harry hamster. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> I don't know what my hamsters were called. Go oh, on, enlighten me. I have to try and remember because I've had a few. My very first one was called Mousy. <laughs> you got through hamsters faster than you did meals. No, oh, <laughs> they just have short lifespans. <laughs> um, yeah, my first one was called Mousy because when I was being pushed around in a trolley at a supermarket or something, we went past a section that had some hamsters. Oh. And apparently I kept pointing to one and I kept saying, I like that little mousy. I like that little mousy. <laughs> and then eventually we left the shop and we didn't get a hamster and I was screaming, Mousy! <laughs> So then I got a hamster and we called it Mousy. <laughs> just, just to shut you up. <laughs> just get her a hamster. Just get her one. And then we had one called Harriet. I uh, wanted to call it Sandy, but my mum made me call it Stanley. <laughs> Sandy, oh. not Stanley. <laughs> I wanted to call her Stanley. <laughs> then we had one called Boris for quite a long time. And shortly before he died, we found out that he wasn't a guy and he was a girl, so we changed his name to Natasha. But I wasn't very good at remembering to call him Natasha, so I just kept calling him Boris. From Boris to Natasha? <laughs> I don't know who picked the name Natasha. You could have at least called him, like, Betty or something. <laughs> Is it hard to tell the gender of a hamster? I think so, because they're so small. So yeah. it's easy to just go with, like, gender neutral. Oh, do they just have, like, covered. little mini hamster bits and you're like, huh, what are you? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, Miss Watercolour Expert. <laughs> if 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 you're a watercolour expert, I was always told that um, those don't exist in watercolour sets. Well, it's like a children's set, so... But even like some professional ones still have like a black it, and a white in. Is it quite rare to find black and whites in watercolour sets? It's not necessarily rare, it's just among like watercolour purists, they're against using blacks and whites because they're not seen as like a a true watercolour colour. Well, the white isn't a true watercolour colour because it's not transparent. And then the black is just seen as bad colour practice to use because you should mix like with dark blues. But what if I wanted to like paint a badger or something? You should uh, mix your own black. Oh, or, or like <laughs> if I wanted to do a tunnel. A tunnel? Or a hole in the ground. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't work. This is why that. I can't do watercolours. I feel too restricted. <laughs> if I want to draw a badger in his den, I can't, I can't even use the colours that I want no, to use. No, you're allowed to. It's just some people might tell you colour knowledge sucks, but... I think, I'm sorry, but if a badger has that colour, I, I, I have to use it. <laughs> I thought just then you were going to pull me up on this when you were like, Miss Watercolour Expert, because I'm sat here just wiping the colour off I'm, on the front I'm, of this. Don't mind me, I'm just ruining <laughs> the Canson paper. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't go through. Tribute. It's that hamster talking to his apple. Yeah, it, it looks like it's bleeding. It looks like he's going. <laughs> Only to you, everyone else sees a cute hamster and his little apple. What kind of hamster is it? A Syrian hamster, because I used to have a Syrian hamster. I've had quite a few hamsters, those you all know. <laughs> what colours are you going to use? Well, Syrians are quite a mix of different colours. They've sort of got like an orangey coloured head. Oh. And then there's like some different coloured patches. There's like whites and some. Darker brownie blacky kind of colours on them usually. So, what would you rate these? Oh, I you could say, what would you rate Syrian hamsters? Okay, yeah. What would you, as a pet, what would you rate Syrian hamsters out of ten? Well, to be honest, um, as much as I loved them as a kid and stuff, they tend to be asleep like the whole day, and as a kid, you're not allowed to stay up late. Okay. So I'd be annoyed that I never got to see my hamster all day. Then I finally had to go to bed at like 8pm or whatever on a school night. Uh. And then in the middle of the night, my hamster would keep me awake on his wheel because it would be going... Because <laughs> the wheel was so squeaky. Oh, I think, I think that'd be really cute. <laughs> but I never got to hang out with him and he just woke me up at night. So <laughs> it was a bit of a weird relationship that we had. I work nights, I can't help it. <laughs> This wheel ain't gonna roll itself. Yeah, hamsters do kind of work the night shift. So if you're nocturnal, a hamster will be a good pet for you. Or a badger. They, they, they're nocturnal <laughs> or a too. Badger? Why not? <laughs> Seriously, if you see a badger, guys, stay away. They have all kinds of diseases. If you see a badger, take a photo of me. I've never seen a badger. Don't. <laughs> Only from far away. Don't go up to it and take a picture because badgers are very aggressive. If you find a badger, send it to our PO box. <laughs> <laughs> And then send for help. <laughs> I don't believe that they're mean. They're so cute looking in photos. Anyway, I've never seen one in real life. Well, they're full of diseases. <laughs> no. Oh. 
Oh, they're cute. So what would you give hamsters out of 10? <laughs> yeah, the purpose of this, this entire dialogue. On a cute scale, 10. Okay. <laughs> On like um, a pet scale, if you're like a child and you're not allowed to stay up all night. Yeah. Uh, maybe about a five, you might oh, be a little no. bit disappointed. I mean, they... <laughs> disappointed out of 10. <laughs> Hamsters don't want to hang out with you. It's because they don't want to live in like a tube fun house all their lives. <laughs> they have aspirations. <laughs> I know, how can you be so miserable living in a tube fun house? He wants to be an accountant. He can't do that in his tubes. <laughs> what would you give the paints out of 10? Um, they're better than I remember them, to be honest. <laughs> when you were a kid, you were like, oh, these are awful. <laughs> the pigment is just terrible. I knew nothing about pigments and stuff until like a year ago, to be honest. This ultramarine is ultra mean. Where's the hamster fun time? Oh, it's up there. Grab the cushion. Oh, you want the cushion? Yeah. Hold on. This is important. Because this is something that Steph actually designed. It's in one of my red bubble shops, but it's not in the Doodle Date red bubble one. Whoop! It's a cushion that Steph designed with little hamsters on. And there's hamsters like all over the place. Having a hamster tube fun time. It's really yeah. special because I think only one of these exists. Yeah, because this one was through Odea, if you've mm. heard of that website. Oh yeah, Odea.com. Took part in like a competition that they had. Yeah. And nobody bought the design, but... Except Adam, us! Yeah, Adam bought one. And whenever I claim about this being my cushion, Adam's like, that's my cushion. It I is my it. cushion. I paid good money for this cushion. <laughs> Even though I designed it. <laughs> is this red? Is this red? <laughs> Give me a moment. I've even turned the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you looking at? Is it this one? This one is red. That's red. Mm-hmm. You're not pranking me, are you? No. I was just asking Steph off camera, guys. Uh, why are hamsters called hamsters, anyway? <laughs> That's a very deep question. They don't have any ham in them. What country are hamsters even from? To Syria. Are they? Syrian hamsters? That could be a valid point, but I have no way of fact-checking. <laughs> are you wiping that on your hand? Yeah, it's, it's water-soluble. Okay, <laughs> let's try and use this, this uh, elusive black watercolor then shall we oh, okay wow it's super dark yeah i think it's going to be quite pigmented <laughs> whoa let's do his little ears Pikachu. oh wow that is really pigmented his little ears. i'm really impressed you know because you said it was a kid's set just how pigmented they are i think with cheaper watercolor sets one of like the mm. The bigger things that makes them not very professional is if you left it out in sunlight, the pigment oh, would fade, fade very, oh. very fast. Yeah. No, that makes sense. So that's why some people pay through the ears to get like really expensive watercolor <laughs> sets. <laughs> <laughs> not literally. I just want good watercolor. <laughs> we should. Next time we go to an art shop, we should try it. Just, just take what you want. Just leave. <laughs> I can't put my finger on what it is about this Pikachu that's so terrifying. What? He's not scary. Why have you put red at the bottom of his tail? Oh, he is brown, doesn't he? Yeah. See, that, this goes back to when I was a kid. I was convinced that he had red at the base of his tail. And the stripes on his back. Yeah. I, I always thought they were red. The same colour as his cheeks. Yeah. I thought it was like really oh, wow. colour coordinated. But I guess red and brown are kind of similar. Is that a brown? I can try and go yeah, over it. Yeah, it is. That is the brown. Because it's kind of light, so let's try and go over his little brown tail. But yeah, for the longest time, even like now, as I've just proven, I thought his, uh, <laughs> his little tail... Yeah, because I remember you did that when we did the Pokemon Plasticine video. Hmm. Yeah, I think I made it red then. You did? There we go. Oh, doesn't he look happy? I need to do... No, he looks literally the opposite of happy, if I'm <laughs> honest. It's like, heal me! You know when you get like a Pokemon that's like confused and poisoned <laughs> and asleep? <laughs> End me! <laughs> Call me back! <laughs> um, so if we go with like a really light, a really light wash, maybe I should try putting some water into his mouth first. <laughs> <laughs> Just drown him. <laughs> Why are you putting water in his mouth? What's happening? Because I want it to be like really light inside his oh, mouth. Oh, I thought it was all teeth. And I thought he was it's really evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought he was snarling. <laughs> Pikachu used bite. He killed his enemy. <laughs> no, it's not all teeth. He's got his mouth open. He's kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now he just looks like he doesn't want to wake up to go to school. 
I'm a wild animal, Ash. Why are you trying to educate me? <laughs> See, look, from here, I'm glad you've moved. It kind of looks like the <clears throat> apple is like a cauldron and there's fire at the bottom. No! You have to set fire to an apple. <laughs> burn. <laughs> burn that place. You always try and make my cute little creations as <laughs> evil as possible. Soon my creation will be complete. Yes, give me an eye so I can see. See the evil I'm creating. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a really small pupil as well. No, I wanted to give him a pretty big one. Yes, more light into my eyes. It means I can see more of my creation. Why is he talking like such a mad scientist? I think hamsters kind of are crazy. They are a bit. They always try and run away. That's a sign that they don't love you. <laughs> no, don't say that. There'll be so many sad children. <laughs> nah, guys. They, they run away anyway. It's part of their nature. They're all mean-spirited. <laughs> They're not mean-spirited. <laughs> nah, that's just how they are. We seen one when we went to um, uh, a pet place not too long ago. One was doing like pull-ups on some bars, wasn't yeah, he? He was. He He's... was so... We probably have a video of that somewhere. He was buff hamster. It's like if he was a human, he'd be like Arnold Schwarzenegger or whatever he's called. <laughs> I have to get out of the cage. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand, they won't adopt me. <laughs> <laughs> ah! oh, I'd adopt if one came up to me and talked like that, I would adopt him. You have to adopt me. The Terminator hamsters, they're coming. <laughs> okay, should we call him Arnold? Arnold the hamster. Yeah, that's a cool hamster name. You promise. I approve of this name. <laughs> Look at my little nubby tail, isn't it cute? <laughs> I'm feeling less and less attached to this drawing as you keep giving an accent to him. <laughs> <laughs> my patience is feeling less attached to my body. <laughs> oh, I think he's cute. You can't say all that and then say, I think he's cute. I do know I think he's like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> that's been turned into a hamster. <laughs> oh, what's happening down here? I'm lining. In the most recent Pokemon game, I had a Pikachu. I'm um, in the moon, and I called him Jean-Luc, and he was French. Was that named after the Feather Frenzy? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that must have been where I got it from. <laughs> yeah, and he was a French, he was a French Pikachu, and I loved him. That's funny because Pikachu is like the least bird-like Pokemon you could have picked to name. Them. I actually had a bird one, yeah, and I think he was. I think what was the? Oh, what did I call the bird? What was he called Pikachu? <laughs> Go Pete. That'd be really good. That'd really confuse them, wouldn't it? Oh, that's actually quite a good line that I've done accidentally there. Give him, give him a bit of a double chin, because <laughs> he's a bit old. <laughs> you don't want to catch me. <laughs> so I, I can't use agility no more. I just realised we've both technically drawn mice. Or at least well, mousy looking things. Yeah, rodents, shall we say. Yeah, that's the term for it. Oh, there we go. Oh, Pikachu, aren't you cute? That's what they used to say 20 years ago. I think Pokemon is like 20 now, isn't it? It's it's old. Even we played it when we were baboos. Okay, guys, the only way you can ever make Pikachu smile again is by subscribing. So if you haven't already, make sure you <laughs> do. Ring the bell so Arnold doesn't come up with some kind of demonic cult too. <laughs> Would be useful. Thanks very much for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time, maybe on Tuesday, for another Doodle Alert. And check out this video up here. We use little watercolours. Ah! Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>